Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Okay, so this is uh, the second video on lists. Okay, so this is lists two. Uh, and last time we covered some of the lists. Um, we, we defined the lists. We, we, uh, I, I went through what they are, uh, how to index them, slice them, uh, some of the method calls such as append, pop, and so on. And uh, so today, I will be continuing um, uh, to uh, other aspects of lists. So, um, uh, so since the lists have no fixed size, we can't reference items inside a list that are not present. So for example, in my original list that I had here, let's see what it is so far. Okay, A, B, C, D. Let's get our list back, the original one here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna work with this original list. So I can copy, you can copy paste in Jupyter. So just so you know. Okay, so this is my L. So I'm redefining my L now because we did some changes and we ended up with L being different than, than this one. So now if I type it back in the last block uh, uh, and you can see I, you know, I redefine it so I get that list back. Okay, so now uh, we know that there's three elements in this list, zero, one, two, okay? So let's say I try to get uh, element number five. Well, there's no element, so this is the fourth element in the list, right? Because, uh, or sorry, this is the sixth element in the list because we start numbering at zero. So notice that Python will scream at me. It will tell me the list index is out of range. So this is an error because I do not have, I do not have a sixth element in the list. My list only contains th three elements, okay? So, so, uh, so that's, uh, however, um, uh, so basically this is done in Python, by the way, intentional, okay? Uh, so that you can see, um, you can kind of like see where your list kind of, uh, when you're out of range, when you're in range, so you don't make mistakes, uh, you know, like uh, within working with the list itself. Um, okay, um, uh, so, um, so in order, so like we said last time, if you want to grow the list more than the size that it originally has, you can append to it, okay? You can add stuff to it, okay? So uh, let me actually show you something else that's interesting. Uh, so uh, this here, if I don't put anything inside my list, this is still okay. This is called an empty list, okay? So an empty list, it has nothing, okay? And sometimes that's useful because you wanna start with a list that we, you want to you want to predefine a list that has nothing, and then start to append it, start to uh, uh, add to it elements of your choice. So now I can append uh, to my L whatever I want. So I could say uh, append, uh, uh, let's say, and then I open brackets, and let's say I I say append four, right? And then if I print L, it's gonna have now an element four, and I can you know I can keep appending, and so on. Okay, now let's talk about nesting. Okay, nesting. Uh, 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 this is um, uh, this is uh, one feature of Python's core data types. It's called uh, nesting, and uh, we can nest um, uh, we can nest them in any combination. Okay, and as deep as you want. For example, we can have we can have a list that has uh, that has uh, you know. Uh, not just it, it can has strings it can have numbers it can have it can have even another list and and it can have a dictionary which we will discuss later okay it can have a tuple and so on now one of the cool features i want to show you and and this is brings me to sort of like let's say i have a matrix a 3 by 3 matrix right and i need uh, let me just call that m and I have three rows and three columns, okay? Three by three matrix. So I can express this as nested lists, okay? So I would say, I would open the first bracket, okay? And I would say, okay, my first uh, uh, my first row will be, so that's, so I open another two brackets, that would be my first row, which would be a list. One comma two comma three, okay? And then uh, I would do a comma, okay? And I can either continue on this line or if I push enter, I can continue on the other line. Okay, that doesn't matter. And I can open another bracket and that's for the second list inside my list. Okay, so this is a way to, to represent a three by three matrix. Four, five, let's say six. Okay, and then I come out, comma, and I need another row. 
So let's just say seven, eight, nine, okay, just to keep it simple. So I would open a bracket, so seven comma eight comma nine. Okay? And uh, and uh, yeah, you just press enter and uh, there's my matrix. And if I if I print M, uh, if I enter it, look at this. It gives me this as a list of lists. So I have my my outward my outward list, and inside my list there are three lists, three individual lists. Each one of these lists is representing one row in my matrix. Very important. So now um, uh, the so so now let's say I want to obtain the first row. Okay. So this is remember this is in terms of rows. So I can do. Uh, uh, slicing. I can do uh, the same way I've done before. So if I call M bracket one, this is going to give me the first list and the first element inside my list. But because the first element inside my list is a list, is the row one, two, three, it's going to return. Um, oh, sorry, uh, that would be zero, right? Because we start indexing at zero. That's going to return the first um, row in my list, which is one, two, three. And if I do one, it's going to give me the second row, four, five, six, and so on. Okay? Uh, now, let's say I want a specific element within my list. So, like, let's say I want, uh, I want second row and, um, and the five. Let's say I want to pick the five. Okay? So, that would be, so, I, so, so notice how I can do this. Open bracket. So, now this is the second row. So, this is the first, so... The, the second row is one, right? Because that's the second list inside my list. And then if I need the five inside the second list, that is the second element. So that's also one. So it'll be M11. So M represents the matrix. The first one represents the second row in my matrix. And this and this and the second one in bracket here represents the second element in the second element in the second row in my matrix and notice i get five right likewise if i want the third element in the second row i would just go to here and it's going to give me six and so on that's how you can you can uh, you can get those items within within different rows Okay, so the first op so to summarize the first operation, the M1 here, this fetches the entire second row, and the second uh, 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 entry here, uh, uh, this uh, grabs the th the 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 item f number from that list. Okay, and it always goes. Remember, it always goes from left to right, just like the the earlier. Uh, string uh, when we did strip and split with strings it's the same kind of logic okay um, now uh, let's see uh, let's uh, uh, maybe I should just leave comprehension till the second uh, uh, till the second video okay so uh, that is it for this video I will cover comprehension on the second video list comprehension we're still on lists so thank you for watching. I hope this helps. If it does, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, like, and uh, comment. And uh, if you are able to and you would like to uh, help us and uh, support us to keep this information uh, available for free to the public and to future generations, please don't hesitate to uh, donate to us on the, on the email I have in the description below this video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day and we will pick up next time uh, and continue on with uh, all this exciting stuff on lists in Python.